What is going on guys, Nick Carter here back with That Modern Dude, your home for tech and modern lifestyle videos. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing down below. Today we're doing a tutorial in Final Cut Pro, something I've been reading a lot about lately, and that is how to edit to the beat. Something quite tricky, it's something that's very hard to do, but I'm gonna show you a really quick, and nice, easy tip to make it that little bit easier. So, step one, you gotta go film your footage. So the first step of course is to go into Final Cut Pro. I've already set up a folder here with all my footage in there. I'm gonna go new, I'm gonna create a new library, save it to that and just edit to the beat. Beautiful. We're gonna import all our footage as you know, just like any other project. This isn't anything special. So as you can see here, we have all our footage that I've filmed today. Quickly make a new project. We'll just keep 1080p and edit to the B like a pro. Why not? So with that there, we're gonna just quickly import some music too. I'm just gonna import something I've already got somewhere. That's good because it has like these clear, concise beats. So we're gonna import that bit there. Now, the first step that I find is the easiest is by creating a solid. So you can do that by going over into the titles section, going down right to the bottom where it says generators, just click on generators and you'll have all these things that you can create. You wanna do the custom one. This is just a custom solid. It can be whatever color you want it to be. And you just drag that down onto the timeline. And I just like to extend that to begin with. And the reason we do this is because Final Cut Pro doesn't let you drag music by itself onto the timeline. And so by doing this, we can now drag our music underneath. And I'm just gonna duck it a little bit. We'll go minus six, that way it just doesn't deafen us too much. And sign that. So now we have our timeline and we have a solid and it goes over the music. So what you'll quite often see is people go through and edit and create markers for the footage. And you can do that. There is no right or wrong way to edit to the beat. I'm gonna show you an easier way though. So what you wanna do is with the solid selected and the playhead at the start, you need to only remember two things. Spacebar, because it's play and pause, and Command B. Command B is the default shortcut for blading the footage that is selected. And it's really handy in this case. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play through the timeline and hit Command B. So we're gonna blade the uh, the solid on the beats we want the transitions to be. So it's gonna be really simple. So we're gonna do that right now. All right, so we're not gonna do the whole thing, obviously, because, you know, that'd take forever. But as you can see here, by just doing that, all of a sudden we've got our solid nice and cut up to the beat. So we've already started editing to the beat. And maybe you can see what's gonna come next. Because of the magnetic timeline, it is really easy to just replace clips in Final Cut Pro. So what we can do now is go through the footage that we filmed earlier, find out in and out points. So say I want this bit to start at the there, but we only want it to go maybe to there. We go through all our footage, so you can see I've got a lot of interesting stuff to film at home. Do that. Got a nice bit of a flower here, so we can do that and come in. And it can be as long or as short as you want, and I'll show you why in a sec. So let's just do that. And what you want to do is whatever bit of footage you want to start with, let's say we'll start with the berries. You want to just click the footage, drag, and drop onto the custom layer. And when you release, what it's going to do is going to bring up a menu. You've got replace. Replace from start, replace from end, replace with a retime to fit, and replace and add to audition. Now, I'll quickly go through what these all do. So if you go replace, 
you can see it's just going to completely replace that cut clip and you're not edited to the beat anymore. So we're going to undo that. If you go replace from start, it is going to completely replace that solid starting from the start of the clip that you added. So if the clip is longer than what was in the timeline, it will cut off at the end. So likewise, if you were to replace from end, what that will do is cut off the start of the footage. So you don't have to be, when you selecting your in and out points for your footage, you want to select the most interesting section and keep in mind that you will be cutting off the start and the end. So you want to keep that in mind when you're doing it. It's all just down to you which bit's the most interesting. Now, replace at, with retime to fit. It's not something I would do personally because what that will do is whatever you've selected as in and out points, no matter how long that footage is, it's going to squeeze it or stretch it into the section. So if I hit here, as you can see, it's going to play that at 681% which means it's going to be really, really quick. And, you know, maybe that's what you want, but not all of us do. So what we're going to do is really quickly, we're just going to go in and I'm going to go replace with end. We're going to go here. And I think the end bit of that footage is better as well. So I'm going to replace from the end there. This one doesn't really matter too much. So we're going to just replace from start. And, and like I said, you just you just need to know these things. And luckily, I've got a few more bits of footage here, so we're just gonna. I love chickens. It's all I film here. And all right, so now you can see we've got some footage lined up. Now, if I want to just quickly completely mute all that audio, I don't want any audio on the clips. And if we just play from start now. all of a sudden you just edited to the beat. It's really that simple. Now, of course, you go in and you can finesse it a little bit, but what I like here is because you've cut this bit, this footage up, you've now got some nice hard stops in your footage that you can match everything to. So if you want to drag something else in, for example, and you don't like this here, maybe you want this to last for two beats, well, you can get a bit of footage in and say we go over here and we can just you know, resize that. So what we're gonna have is a different bit of footage on the top there. So now that we've got this all cut up, you can see that not only do we have our footage edited to the beat, but we've also got a nice guide to start with. So if we wanna start replacing footage, maybe we don't like the fact that at the start here, maybe it's a bit too fast. Maybe we want just one clip to play for the start here. Well, that's really simple because we can just Find whatever bit of footage we want. Maybe we want, let's get the berries. Let's just get another section of the berries. We can just drag that onto the timeline and size it up. And we can just, and because we've got it snapped, it just snaps into place. And now we have one bit of footage that plays there. And you can just play around with it as you see fit. That's part of the creativity. But there you have it guys. How to edit to the beat in Final Cut Pro. Probably easier than you thought. Like I said at the start, there is no right or wrong way to edit to music. There is just ways that make it easier. This is the way I found works for me. I find it gives me not only a nice clean base to start from, but also something to build up from once I've you know laid out the groundwork, chucked the clips in that I needed. You know, I can build up from there and make it a bit more interesting. Hopefully you did find this helpful. And if you did, I'd love to hear from you down below. Chuck a comment or a thumbs up. And maybe you have a tip of your own that you'd love to chuck down there. Until the next video, guys. See ya.